Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Many dishwasher repairs will require you to remove the appliance from the cabinet. To do this, turn off the power to your dishwasher and shut off the water supply valve. Next, rotate the lower access panel fasteners counterclockwise to remove. Then pull out the access panel and sound dampening pad. Unthread the fitting to remove the water supply line from the inlet valve. Be prepared for some water to spill out. Now remove the screw to release the junction box cover. Note the location of the wires, then untwist the wire nuts to disconnect the wires. Loosen the screw securing the grounding wire retainer and pull off the wire. Use a flathead screwdriver to help remove the strain relief nut and detach the strain relief from the junction box. Next, disconnect the drain hose from the sink drain or garbage disposer and feed it through the cabinet. Open the dishwasher door and remove the mounting bracket screws. To move the dishwasher, you may need to adjust the legs to lower the appliance. Now, to avoid damage, very carefully pull the dishwasher away from the cabinet. To reinstall the dishwasher, first make sure the end of the drain hose is accessible through the cabinet wall. Then gently slide the dishwasher back into the cabinet. Adjust the leveling legs, if necessary. Replace the screws to secure the mounting brackets to the cabinet or countertop. Feed the drain hose through the cabinet and connect it to the sink drain or garbage disposer. Make sure the hose is elevated above the connection point. Fully position the wire strain relief in the junction box and secure the strain relief nut. Reposition the grounding wire and tighten the screw to secure the retainer. Connect the wires using the wire nuts. Align the cover plate and replace the screw to secure. Attach the water supply line to the inlet port and tighten the fitting to secure. Reposition the lower access panel and sound dampening pad, then secure the panel with the fasteners. You're now ready to turn the water supply back on, as well as the power, and confirm that the dishwasher is working properly.